Pete, obviously, you got sent home on the first night. We barely got to know you. And there was no drama until you went home. Can you shed some light on that for us and, and educate us on what happened? After the season wrapped, we had a cast Zoom call. Long story short, 15 or 16 of the guys at the end of their headshots put the initials P after their post. Braden was actually man enough to come to me and tell me what it, what it meant. And what it meant was Peter. Went to bed that night kind of confused and ultimately pretty upset. I didn't know any of these guys. I met them for two minutes, maybe some five minutes. And to have people you know, put this online for the world to see really affected me. So for those of you who don't know, that's, that's kind of the story of what P was. Before we go any further, we shouldn't have done that. It was a bad play. It was just an inside joke. Nobody would have known it was against Peter if, you know, I just this think... guy, like, shared it. So, like... Well, we actually have some of those posts, just to uh... sort of help everybody understand <clears throat> kind of what's going on. So here's a post from Sean. And it's a love story, baby. Just say yes. But you look at the bottom left corner, there's P. I didn't know what it meant. The thing I think that upset me a lot was my family, my parents, my church group, my volunteer group, they all saw that. There was no chance they saw that and thought hey, about that. Hey, Are you let, kidding let, me? Let me? Pete, did you have any idea night one that you were rubbing people the wrong way like no that? No idea. No, honestly, when Braden told me that, I honestly was shocked. I had no idea I was rubbing people the wrong way. Why would you put that online? I've never done anything to you personally. Bitch. I've never done that anything is what to your you family. Are. I've never done anything to you. It's basically the because you said F you to every single dude that tried to speak to you or speak to them. You just did the same thing to everyone. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. The very first night, you sit down right next to me, and you look at the camera, and you look at me, you look at the camera, and you open your body up, make sure the camera's getting you at the right angle, and you go, so who do you think is here for the wrong reasons? And I'm like, I don't know. You, you maybe. You. Like, like, homie, you were the first one on the Zoom call after everyone got home to ask about endorsement deals, and you were on the TV show for five seconds. Mm -hmm. Five seconds. I remember you laughing and saying, thanks for putting me on the map. I'll make a T-shirt out of it. And monetize it. Because he's trying to make You're a joke out of it, and it always was a joke. Night, night, then, then the next and... night, you use this as a platform, as a pity party. Dude, I have no respect for that, dude. Shut the up. So, Peter, I'll say this. I'm sorry for putting that on my page. I thought it was an inside joke, and it was wrong. At the end of the day, all these guys will speak to my character. I'm a good guy, and I made a mistake. I, I do have to say, I am pretty curious, after listening to you all, because this is a lot of stuff that I didn't know. Pete, did you actually ever make t-shirts? Of course not. OK, that never happened. Never happened. But you said you were going to. I never, I don't believe I ever said that. Yo, let's oh. run that tape back, please. We're going to show everyone how fake you are, dude. It'd be great. All right, well, gentlemen, look, I appreciate you all. I told you that I wanted the tea and alas, my cup runneth over. So thank you all for that. <laughs>